Hello fellow Brawlers, I'm Carlos Stein, and it is time for Season 3 of the Brawl Stars Olympics. This is the first season that gadgets are actually in the game, which means that things are going to be changing up. For this video, we're going to be putting all of the Brawlers in a competition against each other to see which one is the fastest. The rules are simple. The Brawlers start at the bottom of the training cave, and the finish line is when their character passes behind the last robot at the top of the training cave. Brawlers are allowed to use one pre-charged super, they're allowed to use their gadget as many times as the cooldown will let them, and they can also use star powers or attacks if it will help. To celebrate season three of the Brawl Olympics, we are going to be putting every brawler in a bracket, and your goal is to try and guess which brawlers are going to win each round. I'm going to give you a couple of practice matches to see how this is going to work out in this first round right here. Spike versus Rosa. Since neither Rosa or Spike have a gadget, super, or star power to help them in this race, it comes down to their movement speeds. Rosa's movement speed is faster than normal, which means that she wins the first round. Sandy versus Jean. Just like Spike versus Rosa, this race comes down to movement speeds. Jean has a normal movement speed, but his mystic friend Sandy actually has a fast movement speed. This means that he takes Jean out of the competition. Okay, now that you guys understand how this is going to work out, I want you to try to make your best guess for every single matchup for this video. Only true Brawl Stars Masters are going to get every answer correct. Next is round two, and while most of them are actually pretty easy, I think a couple of them are going to catch you off guard. Rosa versus Jackie. Both Rosa and Jackie have fast movement speeds, but Jackie is able to use her gadget twice before reaching the finish line, while Rosa doesn't have any ability to help her out. This allows Jackie to take her first win. Mr. P versus Shelly. Both Mr. P and Shelly have normal movement speeds, but thanks to her new gadget, Shelly's able to dash twice before crossing the finish line, which allows her to beat Mr. P out of the competition. El Primo versus Pam. This is not much of a competition. Pam is just a regular runner, while El Primo gets help from his Meteor Rush star power and his super and his fast movement speed. BB versus Penny. Similar to Pam, Penny does not do too well either. BB has a fast movement speed and she's able to use her home run star power to run right past Penny. Brock versus Dynamite. Dynamite uses his Dyna Jump star power with his super to get a head start while Brock uses his gadget twice to blast himself forward a bit further. It looks like Dynamite is about to win, but Brock is able to use his gadget for a third time, which very slightly helps him pass the finish line first. Poco versus Max. Not only does Max have a very fast movement speed, she uses her gadget, then she uses her super for extra speed, and relentlessly uses her gadget one last time, beating Poco with over four seconds to spare. Jesse versus Leon. This should be a pretty easy guess. Not only does Leon have a very fast movement speed, but he also gets help from his Smoke Trails star power to finish in plenty of time before Jesse. Barley versus Daryl. Barley has a normal movement speed, and Daryl was built to be a little bit faster than the regular bot with a fast movement speed. In addition, he gets to use his super roll, which makes this match a breeze for Daryl. Sandy versus Crow. Sandy does have a fast movement speed going for him, but Crow has a very fast movement speed, plus a super that lets him jump ahead in the race. B versus Tick. Both B and Tick have a normal move and speed, and fortunately for Tick, B cannot slow him down during this competition. With Tick's new gadget, he's able to beat B by one second. Bull versus Bow. Bull has a fast movement speed, while Bo has a normal movement speed. On top of that, Bull is also able to charge ahead with his super. This allows Bull to beat Bo by almost three entire seconds. 8-Bit versus Nita. 8-Bit has a very slow movement speed, but using a pre-placed turret, he can use his gadget to teleport ahead of Nita as long as he's within 12 tiles of his turret. Believe it or not, 8-Bit is no longer the worst brawler in the race test. Terra versus Rico. Both Terra and Rico have a normal movement speed, but with Rico's Robo Retreat star power, he's able to run away at a very fast pace. This allows Rico to beat Terra by just over three seconds. Colt versus Piper. 
This is a close race. Piper jumps ahead with her super, but Colt uses his slick boot star power to increase his movement speed by 10%. In the end, Piper beats Colt by a fraction of a second. Mortis versus Frank. Frank does have faster than normal movement speed going for him, but unfortunately for him, it is not enough. Mortis uses his coiled snake star power and five attacks plus a very fast movement speed to crush Frank. Carl versus Ems. Both Carl and Ems have a normal movement speed, but when Carl uses his super, he gets an insane speed boost for three seconds, which is all that he needs to get a very clear victory over Ems. Now that over half of the brawlers have been knocked out of this competition, this is where things start to get really interesting. Are you going to correctly guess who is going to make it past round three and into the quarterfinals? Let's find out. Jackie versus Shelly. Shelly did get a fancy new gadget that boosts her a couple of tiles, but it is nowhere near as useful as Jackie's gadget when it comes to speed. Plus, Jackie has a fast movement speed, which gives her a clear lead. El Primo versus BB. Both brawlers have a fast movement speed, and BB does get a permanent boost from her home run star power. But that is not enough to catch up to El Primo, who gets help from his Meteor Rush star power and his super. Brock versus Max. Brock's new gadget helped him make it past his first match, but when it comes to speed, Max is on a whole new level. Her super, her gadget, and her movement speed make this a very easy win for Max. Leon versus Daryl. Daryl has a fast movement speed plus the use of a super, but Leon has a very fast movement speed and his smoke trail star power, which makes him go even faster. Crow versus Tick. Even though Tick does get to use this gadget twice before passing the finish line, it is very clear early on that there's just no way he's gonna be able to catch up to Crow, who moves faster and has a super jump. Bull versus 8-Bit. Bull gets a clear lead because 8-Bit is just so slow, and even though he does lose that lead for a second after 8-Bit teleports, he easily retakes it long before 8-Bit passes the finish line. Rico versus Piper. Although Rico is sweet on Piper most of the time, the Brawlympics is a serious event and he's not about to give this win to his sweetheart. Rico beats Piper with a two second lead. Mortis versus Carl. The fact that Carl's super lasts so long is really great for the race test, but it is very obvious that he's going to need to work on his engine if he wants a shot at winning. Mortis dominates this round and moves on to the next. With round three out of the way, we are down to the quarterfinals. Even if you've gotten every guess right so far, the competition is about to get even closer. Let's see which brawlers are able to pass this round and make their way onto the semifinals. Jackie versus El Primo. El Primo jumps ahead and activates his Meteor Rush star power, but Jackie gets to use her gadget to boost her speed twice. In the end, El Primo crosses the finish line less than half a second faster than Jackie does. Max versus Leon. Before gadgets, the race between Max's super and Leon's smoke trail star power actually ends in a tie. But now that Max gets a boost from her gadget, she's able to win the race. Crow versus Bull. Both brawlers get to use their super, and as soon as Bull ends his charge from the super, it is clear that Crow is going to take victory in this race. Rico versus Mortis. With his Robo Retreat star power, Rico is very fast, but with every attack, Mortis gets further and further away from Rico, solidifying his victory. With the quarterfinals out of the way, we are down to the final four brawlers left in this competition. Only two of them will be able to make it to the finals. Let's see who it'll be. El Primo versus Max. El Primo jumps up and activates his Meteor Rush star power, and for a little bit, it looks like he's keeping up with Max. But then his legs get tired, and Max boosts ahead, making her way to the finals. Crow versus Mortis. Crow jumps up ahead and holds the lead for less than a second before Mortis dashes ahead, making it impossible for Crow to catch up. Now this is the moment that you have been waiting for. Some of you will remember that Mortis actually took first place in the last Brawl Stars Olympics race test. Since then, Max was released and she was recently given a gadget that helps boost her speed. Let's see if she has what it takes to dethrone the previous champion and take first place as the fastest brawler in Brawl Stars. Mortis versus Max. 
Mortis's coiled snake star power gives him an early lead, but Max slowly catches up. As he's about to reach the finish line, Max dashes for a second time, but it is not enough, and Mortis wins the Brawl Stars Race Olympics and remains champion. How did you do in this challenge? Let me know which matchups you miss, and if you say that you got them all right, you are either a Brawl Stars master or you're lying. If you guys like this video, you can help support the development of future videos like it by using code Kairos in the shop. That's K-A-I-R-O-S. It doesn't cost you guys anything extra, and it really does go a long way in helping support my family so that I can help create the content that you guys love. You can also help by sharing this video with any friends that you think would enjoy it, and also by letting me know which Brawlympics test you would like to see for the next video. Congratulations to Mortis. Thank you for watching. For now, guys, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.